Hello. Good afternoon. Crouch. Good morning. Good afternoon. Of course, I've got my uh, subliminal messages shirt on. Subliminal messages shirt on. Because people like to lie. They're not godly. They're all ungodly. So, let's see. I am cooking. I got crushed by the I've whale been doing pot. a lot. Uh, I've been for the last, I don't know, hour or so since a friend of mine on Facebook had me uh, looking. I, I could be studying, but I'd rather be studying some more Bible stuff because, you know, I do want to teach the Bible, but I wanted to get my degrees first, and then I, I probably you should be taking these off, but it's I just want to keep getting my, as long as I can get paid, it can be paid for, I'm going to go to college, and so somebody decides they're going to take that from me, so I want to get my, of course I got to, I got to uh, reset my phone again, because they like to change the number, yeah, the time on it. So anyway, but I want to get I want to. They had theology in the college. They took the, the theology because they they knew I wanted to, to learn Bible, learn about the religion, the different type of religions. Oh, we don't have that here no more. Okay then. So anything that I wanted to learn or you know to do, they took it out. Like they had the child care there years ago when Billy was younger. So that I could go to college, and but I was working, and I was going to college at night. My mom was watching the kids when I was a single mother. So, meanwhile, um, so I've been doing a lot. I've been studying some more Bible today. Oh my goodness! I want to put that right out my head. I should have wrote it down. See, because of what the, the targeting that happened to me and the way they chipped me, which you can call me crazy all you want, but when I find that doctor, again, when I find that doctor that put this chip in my ear and in my elbow and in my hand, they'd be lucky they even have the head. The end of time is really coming near. Okay, the best presidents we had was our Republican president back when Ronald Reagan and George Bush were president. I'm sorry, but I guess, I don't know. Anyway, that's besides the point. Since then, all hell is breaking loose, and yeah. A lot of people, are, you know, just don't understand. And all I see is chaos, partying, drinking, drunk, food, sex, violence. That's all it is. It's a ha this world is chaotic. We're living in hell. But like they said, there's going to be a calm in them seven years. But once that, that's it, then we're going to be attacked by three different countries. And we're done. This world is history. And I'm, I don't plan on being here, and neither do my kids. And if you guys keep turning my son, my oldest, away, I'm going to be crying out for my son when he takes it. Praying that the God watches over my kids. But you know what? I'm not going to stop until all my kids are in a church, bowed down before God, because we're going to be praying on our knees. Me and my three boys. My son was religious, but these people turned him away from God. They're evil. They don't care about anybody else but themselves and money and greed and partying and jumping around. Not me. I'm going to jump up and down for God. I'm going to jump for joy for him. God's will. Now, Brandon's downstairs on his computer. Mark's on his computer. Brandon's here, and Billy's out in Clementon area. Getting, getting friggin' mind controlled, hypnotized, probably. Who knows what the hell they're going through him. Hopefully, he's with somebody that I can trust. I pray that he's with somebody I can trust. Guys, want to send to 
good little message to get out. I can do the same back. Mark, you want to bake a sandwich too, right? Marky Mark? Marky! Yeah, what? You want a bacon sandwich too? Yes. Brandon, you want a bacon sandwich? What? You want a bacon sandwich? to speak to my oldest because he's always wants me to tell him about the Bible, but I don't know how to put it in words with him to get him to understand. But I will. God will give me the words. I'll give you a Because my, my words will be of God and not of this world. And I will keep saying it because the, the more I say it, this Holy Spirit will come over me and my words will totally be of God and not of this evil, evil world. And I don't care what anybody says. I know Dad, I've been chipped. Dad, okay, they, they're already have chipping dogs. Come on now. Spare me the fucking nonsense. Excuse my language. Spare me. I've got at least five of them in me. And I need the world to know that. I am one big science experiment to these stupid people. I'm special because I've seen, I've seen future. I had dreams of the future, of things happening. And everything that I've had dreams of, it's done. They stole my dreams so that they could take them for themselves. You think I'm crazy? No. Put me on the stand, and I will put these stupid people on that stand, and I bet you 10 to 1 they will be doing it wrong. Oh, wait, they'll go hypnotize themselves and say they didn't do anything wrong. They didn't do anything. But I will figure out a way to prove my ju my rights. My, my, my innocence. I shouldn't have to. God will. God will. They illegally chipped me. And I want the whole world to know. Because they, and they did it to my kids. They illegally chipped my children. Screwed my kids up. Like I said, Brandon cannot con concentrate in school. It's in a mind-boggling way. My youngest, if he doesn't concentrate in school, it's because he's got the ringing in the ear. They made, they, they put, give him like a static, they get the static going on because of that, so they, he don't concentrate, so he doesn't learn, so they can keep my kids stupid because they're scumbags and trying to keep making money off the state, but this is about God right now, God and my kids and my friends that I want to be up in heaven with us.
they think this is one big freaking joke, doing what they did to me and my kids, keeping them in a house, watching how we move, how we act. Stupid Illuminati. I can't wait till I find that head asshole. I can't wait. I can't wait till I find that head Illuminati yeah, asshole. You want to die to These people think they're fucking funny. I'll tell you something. Why do everyone pay attention to the class? I'll say that now. To the judge when I get in the courtroom. Because I know, I know my mom. I'm sorry. My mom, my Aunt Mary knows what's going on. Because, man, I was in the hospital in 2000. The first time I snooped. My first time I snooped. The very first what? time. December 22nd. It was a Friday night. I took these stupid black bitches to a goddamn meeting. I was nice enough to pick them up. They were in my outpatient program in 2000 when I had my finally had my nervous I'm breakdown in December 2000. And I was nice enough to pick these two black girls up and this white girl, or a white girl and a black girl. They were from out in Shakerville and out near Clementon Island or something. I don't remember, but. I picked them up and took them to a Friday night meeting, and then they, the girl had me doing something, and, and she stole, they stole all kinds of money, they must have stole my whole freaking paycheck. I gave this black girl $250. I took Ben out there after a while and asked them if they had my money. She wound up with some other guy with more kids. She, I gave her $250 to get her boyfriend out of jail. That was the first time I did that, and that night I wound up in the doc in the hospital. Actually, I almost I was it made me go crazy. I wound up going to the hospital from here on Franklinville. I, it's not there no more. I think it's a freaking bar. But um, I wound up in the hospital that night or two night the next night, and uh, they told me. Oh, it, I, it was the worst experience I've ever had in my life. And then I never did it, it, didn't do it again until I got into that green street in Woodbury. When somebody introduced me to them stupid, well not stupid, the, so the green street. That's where I started. I don't answer. I don't answer this phone. I'm not going to answer that. I don't know it. But, um, all I know is when after I did that, I felt like I was my mom. I was like, my head couldn't get my mom voice out of my nope. head. It was driving me nuts. No so I quit smoking that stupid shit. But now I know what happened. I'm realizing, oh, you're schizophrenic. You're this, you're that. No. I've got like five chips in me. And I know my Aunt Mary knows. And my, and my, and them. Because she was in, she was the, she was in the booth radiology. She was the, she did the MRI. The mammograms over at Booth Radiology in Woodbury, and if and I guess they don't have the balls to tell me the truth. Nobody does. Nobody will tell me. Oh, you're not allowed to tell her. You ain't allowed to tell nobody. And I know Carmen knows something kind of about it. I'm 
when you go out to the store today, we need um, some bread. Somebody has a book out there on my, me and my life story. I'm going to make sure you get a book shoved up your ass every day. I say that about everything. Everything's going to get shoved up your ass. Now I went to this. Mobile yesterday. And I got some type of thing. Army Airfield Museum. I found a beagle and a, I found a beagle and a revolver ammo. So you are, is, are evil by stealing my child at birth. And you call yourselves a Christian? Shoot. I know people with broken homes who became doctors. And had the worst drunk ass hut father in the world. But it was on a dangerous growing up through school. From a broken, uh, and his family was broken. Because I had a broken, uh, I, I came from a divorced family, don't mean I wasn't raised properly. These guys are evil. These people are very, very evil. My mother-in-law, oh, I'm a Christian now. We're sisters in Christ. Yeah, after you stole my whole life, then you're trying to repent because of what you did. When you met, when she makes up for what she's done to me since 2002, maybe I'll think about forgiving her. I hope God, I, you know what, I should forgive her because that's what God wants me to do. But I've, I have a hardened heart, and I keep praying for it, and my words will be of God. And Karen needs to make make good on what she's done to me. My mother-in-law, she needs not marry. Well, I guess you're going to prison. I don't care how much of a Christian you are. You're going to jail. You pray down and just keep praying. But you're going to do your time. You did your time, you're going to do your time. I've not done nothing wrong. I've done nothing wrong. They try to find something on me. I don't care if you go to church. There's a freaking pastor in church who ain't even a Christian. You can preach the preach and talk the talk, but you ain't walking the walk. And I can't stand watching these preachers go into church and be shit. As if they actually cared, they'd be on my goddamn doorstep.
not stop until me and my children are surrounded for nothing but peace and God and Christians. All of us, me and my children, are surrounded by Christians. I will not stop. I will not stop until I find the doctor that did this to me. I will not stop until I find the original person who had the stupid freaking idea to do this to me. I will not stop. When did you do this to me? When I was four? exactly what my mother-in-law loves to drink. She loves Jack Daniels. She's a Jack Daniels drinker. Making lunch. I'm going to study some more of the Bible. I'm going to finish listening to this guy. I don't know what this guy and this girl's name is, but I'm going to listen to him. Or I should listen to some Joyce Meyer because she's got some good, good, good stuff going on. So maybe I'll listen to some of her. But I got one more book. I took chat. I took some. I took the vocabulary words for both my, for two of them, and I'm going to do one for my third class, and then I have to get organized and write some more notes.
go through it and read some more of the chapters for my classes to move forward, move forward. But like I said, I want to do theology classes too, and I want to take Bible courses. And it's funny because the church that I, I like to go to, they have those courses, but I think it's the, uh, actually it's my, the original, I'm trying to think of how to put this. I don't know if it's Cumberland Community Church, Calgary Church. I don't know if it's the church that I went to, but there's a doctor something. Now, when I was a teenager, when I went to that Christian concert, Carmen Christian concert with my Lori, with my ex-sister-in-law, which she was my friend first. And, you know, she had her daughters or my nieces. Anyway, I went... Her mother goes to that church where they they have they send um, they have like seminars, teaching seminars to become pastors or leaders and stuff like that. That's the st kind of stuff that I would love to do, you know, with a church and be part of a church. But you know, um, it's just people push you away instead of you know trying to help you. They want to push you away and isolate you because you are, you know, somebody special. I'm not being humble. I just know who I am. All right. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Hope is in front of me and my children. Peace be with us. And um, bow down and pray. Ask God to forgive you and, and, and change your ways. That's all I got to say. God is love. And I will stay faithful to my Lord and Savior for the rest of my life if I have to. And I, I will ring of honor. Thank you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hope. Faith. Love. Proof. As I have a whole lot of proof.